two real quick things before we jump into it. Probably stream it on Twitch if you want to come hang out. Links in the description below. Would love to see you stop by. And my G Fuel code is 30% off until the 26th if you're interested. In Call of Duty, there's normally the casual play and the competitive play. But in Modern Warfare this year, you may be feeling that it's all competitive play. You can't escape that feeling that even in your standard 6v6 match, it feels like you're qualifying for a round of the CDL. To that, I feel you on that, and I'm sure a lot of people feel that same way, but why have we discussed weapons in the past and classes in the past that push you out of your comfort zone, but you can still probably do well with, what if you just want to straight up dominate? Today, I want to examine some classes that the literal pros use and convey them to you so that maybe you can be a little bit more dominant in your own gameplay. That night, just have a few M4 gameplays from a while ago that I've been trying to burn for ages, but I get yelled at when I use the M4, so there's that too. But yeah, take it from the actual pros, the people who are the top 1%. That said, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What weapons would you like to see maybe creep into the meta or perhaps maybe be removed from the meta? As well, if you are new to the channel, maybe considering the subscribe button. We're on that road to 300,000 subscribers and we'll keep you up to date with all things Modern Warfare on a daily basis. That said, let's jump into it. First things first, a little disclaimer, the variables that are the actual weapons, they're not going to change too much. Pro play is a very focused range of gameplay and gunplay, but the attachments themselves, that's what changes out and comes down to personal preference and perhaps what mode and what speed at which you want to play. So that said, let's start with the M4. So for the M4, we're going to take a look at four different variables of a class setup here with this weapon. We'll get into secondaries, lethals, tacticals, perks, and all that kind of stuff a little bit after we talk about the primary weapons we want to cover. But the M4 will break down four subsets of these classes. First, a staple in pro play is the M16 Grenadier Barrel, the Commando 4 Grip, the Stippled Grip Tape, the GI Mini Reflex, and a No Stock Attachment. This loadout is built for some speed and snap accuracy. The barrel gives a little bit more damage at range. I think it equates out to like an in-game increase of about two meters or so. The foregrip gives you extra recoil stabilization, but the grip tape and no stock allow for a quick gun up pull in which with that mini reflex, you can hit pinpoint precise shots. And when you come down to the pro play, when you get that aim that's even somewhat comparable to the pros, that's something that is absolutely a must. And with that mini reflex, if you watch any of their gameplays, you can end up seeing that it's exactly that pinpoint precise. Another variable here with the M4 loadouts comes down to the Compensator, the Corvus Custom, the No Stock Attachment, the Commando Foregrip, and Stippled Grip Tape. Now, this loadout is similar, but follows suit in that it's built a little bit more for a combination of speed and recoil control with that grip as well as the Compensator. The Compensator gives a little bit more extra recoil stability and stabilization, but you also still have that quick gun up mechanic that comes along with the No Stock and the Stippled Grip Tape. A third variable for the M4 comes down to the Compensator, the M16 Grenadier Barrel, the GI Mini Reflex, the Commando Foregrip, and the Stippled Grip Tape. Now, with this loadout, you take off the no stock attachment, so you lose a little bit of that movement speed and that quicker ADS time, but you also get some of the additions of what you had in those other attachments with the Compensator, with the M16 Grenadier Barrel offering some more damage at range, the pinpoint precise accuracy of the Mini Reflex, and so on. And the fourth variable here for the M4 comes down to the Corvus Custom Barrel, the GI Mini Reflex, the no stock attachment attachment, the stippled grip tape, and then also the commando foregrip. Now, that one again reintroduces the no stock, but then throws in the Corvus Custom Barrel, which is a dead even split here between these four variations. We saw two with the M16, two with the Corvus Custom Barrel, and that one really comes down to personal preference. Both offer similar attributes and positives in play while sacrificing the same things, but it just comes down to the slight differentiations in the amount in which they increase or decrease said attributes. Now, talking about another weapon outside of the M4, the other biggest weapon in play in pro play Play is that of the MP5. We're going to talk about two variations here at this one. For the first one, we'll talk about the MP5, that including the monolithic integral suppressor, the FTAC collapsible stock, the commando foregrip, the 10 millimeter rounds, and the stippled grip tape. Now, this one is really built, of course, just for more mobile play and, of course, a little bit of a stealth attribute as well with that monolithic integral suppressor. The biggest part about this and the secondary MP5 loadout we'll talk about is that of the 10 millimeter rounds, offering more damage and really not sacrificing a whole lot in terms of what you'll notice in game per each kill per each time you bring your weapon up and it's something that really offers a lot more of a benefit than that of a negative so the 10 millimeter rounds are probably the biggest takeaway here i think with 
any MP5 class setup, but when you add the foregrip, the F-TAC collapsible, the stippled grip tape, those also combine for a little bit quicker of a gun up and ready for a gunfight attribute. The F-TAC collapsible allows for a little bit more mobility, and that integral suppressor allows you to keep some damage over range while also staying off the radar. In a similar fashion, the second variation here of this MP5 loadout is that of the muzzle brake F-TAC collapsible, commando foregrip, stippled grip tape, and the 10 millimeter rounds. The only difference here comes down to your muzzle, that being the muzzle brake instead of a monolithic integral suppressor. So you lose a little bit of that stealthy play, but you also gain a little bit more recoil control. So it might make at range your shot a little bit more stable, but again, it comes down to personal preference. Maybe the mode you're playing, if you're playing search, maybe you want that suppressor instead of a muzzle brake or maybe you're going in guns of blazes and hardpoint tdm domination whatever you're playing either in or outside of a competitive format it just comes down to really what you think is more beneficial now every so often you will see a sniper class setup here with this to which you find maybe an hdr ax50 the one class setup that i've seen used a couple of times throughout some pro play scrims and also just pro play just casual play is that of the ax50 with the 17 inch factory barrel a variable zoom scope the syngard arm assassin stock and the stippled grip tape for a little bit of a quick scoping nature but also something that can pack a punch across the maps i know my friend attach swears by this one and he can absolutely kill it with it but again every so often you'll see that sniper come out but it's not entirely always going to be there sometimes you'll also see a pro break out an mp7 but for the most part a lot of the play is again focused centrally on the m4 and mp5 you don't get a whole lot of diversity here with that but we'll talk about why in just a second now building out these class setups you'll also end up seeing that you'll see secondaries of either the pistols or knives the knife is primarily used for that extra mobility whenever you end up having to make a first push when a match initially starts or you spawn out and you need to end up getting across the map fast you swap that and since it is a lighter weapon it's not something that in game has really any weight to it it makes you a smidge faster in that mobility speed but you also see things like the 50 gs you see things like the m19 are also used and those come down to again a lot more variable attachments and loadouts that come along with that one but the big ones being those weapons that they are perks get a little bit tricky here at this because you'll see a lot of players using eod point man and battle hardened as a common combination you'll see these a lot because with the static or rotating objective modes like domination or hardpoint there's tons of explosives coming through that eod will of course reduce that damage you take stuns and flashes are also big so battle hardened should hopefully help you out there i know that there's been some problems with battle hardened as of recently but there's a hefty amount of bans on a lot of perks so you end up seeing that these are some common ones that help out a lot of the objectives but it's also something that they don't have as much of an option in terms of what they use specialist is also used in place of kill streaks a lot because again there's also going to be some bans on a ton of kill streaks which we'll talk about in a second but you often see things like tune up double time scout Avenger and Amped uses those primary perk slots, just picking and choosing which three they want, or if they want to throw another one on in place of, say, Battle Hardened, they'll run Amped. That's something that you'll see also. Lethals and Tacticals primarily come down to frags or Semtex grenades, and also flash grenades are a big one as well. And field upgrades you'll end up seeing with Dead Silence and Trophy System use. Now, again, there's not a whole lot of diversity in these loadouts, but that's for two different reasons. One, obviously, they're undoubtedly the best weapons for play. They're meta weapons for a reason. But two, there's also a ton of items that are restricted for pro play and when i say a ton i'm talking like almost 50 percent of the game when you come down to weapons that are banned you see that the fal is banned all marksman rifles are banned all lmgs all shotguns all launchers the riot shield that's all banned when it comes to attachments you'll end up seeing that all laser attachments are banned all m203 launcher attachments the 12 gauge deputy under barrel shotgun frangible wounding and frangible disabling are all banned equipment like the claymore c4 molotov proximity mine heartbeat sensor gas grenades snapshot grenades stim shot and decoy grenades those are all banned Perks of Overkill, Quick Fix, Hardline, High Alert, Kill Chain, Restock, Shrapnel, and Tracker are all banned. Field upgrades of the Recon Drone, Stopping Power, Weapon Drop, Tactical Insertion, and Deployable Cover are all banned. Kill streaks of the Personal Radar, Shield Turret, Counter UAV, UAV, Care Package, IAV, Sentry Gun, Wheelson, Emergency Airdrop, White Phosphorus, Advanced UAV, and Juggernaut are all banned. And then things like Mounting is set to Disabled, Battle Chatter is Disabled, Announcer Dialogue is Enabled. So there's a lot of stuff that really restricts again pro play to a very hard set meta and so therefore not only these weapons are fantastic for regular everyday use 
but it's kind of all they have the ability to use and do well with. Even though there are weapons that you can use, like the Kilo, or maybe there's something like the Og that you could use, they're not better than the MP5 or the M4. So you're not going to put yourself at a disadvantage just to not fall in line of using those couple of weapons that all the pros use. Now, that part kind of sucks that there's not as much variability in the guns actually used, but when it comes down to it, those are what they use. Now, naturally, you're likely going to be playing pubs with these loadouts, not specifically scrims, tens, or any other competitive wagers. So if that's the case and you want to shred like the pros, naturally, there is some room for creativity on your end here after this and personalization of these loadouts. Outs. By no means are you restricted to use only a frag grenade or semtex grenade like the pros. You're not restricted to only using dead silence or no streaks for your choosing. You can adjust these things to how you'd like them, but the big part comes down to the weaponry, and that part still stands. Those loadouts are tailored towards fast and powerful play. Precise aim is key in all of it, but the loadouts give you some of the best fighting chances in any type of engagement. You can easily map someone with an M4, but also win a close quarters gunfight with it. You can easily beam players off a flag or hard point with the mp5 and do it almost without losing a single stride and go with it in beat so the pros use these for a number of reasons but mainly because they're pretty damn good so that said i think this we're gonna wrap it up i want to share with you guys this because again not only did i have some m4 gameplay that i needed to burn and get off my hard drive but also because these are simply the best you can absolutely shred with all of these so i'd love to get your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below are you guys gonna try any of these out if you have let me know your thoughts on how you did with them and of course let me know whatever it may be but that's it thanks so much for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you drop a like down below and of course if you are new to the channel make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things modern warfare updates news information tips tricks all that good stuff we get you covered here on the channel so if any of that interests you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing if you guys also want to follow me over on twitter and instagram there's the best places to get connected with me outside of youtube correct live on both those so if you guys want to strike up a conversation ask me a question whatever it may be that link is down there in the description below but that's that out of the way thank you guys all so much for watching mine is an espresso i'll see you guys later take care and peace